If you're suffering pelvic pain and tight pelvic floor muscles, you'll know just how debilitating this problem can be for both women and men. Typical symptoms include abdominal ache, pelvic ache, abdominal cramping, and increasing difficulty with bladder and bowel emptying. Now, fortunately, there's a number of physiotherapy techniques that you can use at home to help you reduce pain and relieve pelvic floor muscle spasm quickly. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'd like to share with you these four strategies for rapidly uh, relieving pelvic floor muscle spasm and giving yourself pain relief. And you can use all these techniques together at home in conjunction with medication, which I'll also discuss. Now, what I'd like to mention before we start is that it's really important that you speak with your doctor, uh, consult with your doctor or your um, pelvic floor physiotherapist if you're suffering pelvic pain to get a thorough assessment and management plan in place. So let's start. Now, the first thing that you can do is to lie down. Now, one, it sounds very simple. Lying down actually takes the load off your pelvic floor. So normally your pelvic floor, when you're sitting or when you're standing, is under load. It sits here and the weight of your abdominal contents are constantly pressing down on those muscles and tissues. Now, as soon as you lie down, you can see that anti-gravity position there unloads the pelvic floor muscles so they don't have to work as hard. They can relax straight away and this will help to relieve pain. Now, there are a number of positions that can actually help you uh, promote relaxation. The first position is lying on your back with a couple of pillows on your underneath each knee. That can actually help to relieve pelvic pain, allowing your legs to roll outwards. Second position is lying on your side with a pillow placed lengthways between your legs and perhaps to a pillow underneath your belly or to reclining in a semi-recliner chair. Now perhaps you have another position that you prefer and you might like to share it with us below in the comments. We'd love to hear that too if that helps other people as well. Now the second pain relief technique you can use at home is heat. Heat or warmth is wonderful for relieving muscle spasm. So you can apply warmth in the, in the form of a, uh, a heat pad or a warm pad. This is just a wheat bag and you can apply this over your belly or also to over your pelvic floor for 15 to 20 minutes at a time uh, during the course of the day while you're lying down. Now some people find that they benefit too from soaking in a warm bath so this might also to be something that gives you uh, improved pain relief and muscle relaxation. The third thing I'd like to discuss is really important it's the, it's the use of diaphragmatic breathing exercises. Now, these are a critical part of physiotherapy treatment for pelvic pain and pelvic floor muscle spasm. And linked above, you'll find a download for women and men for how to relieve pelvic pain uh, with diaphragmatic breathing exercises. Now, essentially, these are deep breathing exercises and they help to relax the pelvic floor muscles. I do have a video coming up next on how to do those, so you might like to stay with me to watch that. But what you'd be doing is doing your diaphragmatic breathing exercises uh, three to four times in a row and doing these throughout the day. These promote pelvic floor muscle relaxation and whole body relaxation, which also helps with pain relief. So diaphragmatic breathing exercises are really critical for immediate pain relief and also too for easing chronic pelvic pain. Now, the fourth thing I'd like to mention is rest. Now, rest from aggravating activities in particular. Now, sometimes some people have a mistaken belief that doing particular exercises will actually help them with their pain relief, when in actual fact they'll make things worse. Uh, things to avoid are one, Kegel exercises or your pelvic floor exercises. Don't start your Kegel exercises when you're in moderate to severe pelvic pain. Um, these will actually increase pelvic floor muscle spasm, the tightness of the pelvic floor muscles and actually exacerbate pelvic pain. The second thing to do is to avoid intense pelvic floor muscle stretching and intense stretches around the hips and pelvis. This is a time to rest and recover, not intensely stretch. By stretching the muscles out when they're in spasm, you can actually aggravate pain. And the third thing to avoid is trigger pointing. So there is a technique of sitting on a ball and actually rotating around to actually release pelvic floor muscles. Again, when you're in a flare up, this is not the thing to do. Be guided by your pelvic floor physiotherapist as to when to commence or to recommence these types of exercises and treatment techniques because during a flare-up, they're actually going to make things worse. The focus is on actually settling everything down before we do anything like that.
Now, the final thing and really important thing that I'd like to discuss with you is the use of medication. Now, in terms of medication, there's two types. We can talk about pain relief medication and muscle relaxation medication. Let's talk about pain relief first of all. Now, pain relief can be over-the-counter medications such as paracetamol, um, your Tylenol, or also to your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, it's really important that you take these the correct dose at the correct time, and this optimizes your pain relief. If you miss doses or don't take quite the, the amount that you're supposed to take, what happens is it's much harder, you, your pain, relate, pain levels fluctuate, and you actually um, find it much harder to get to that constant level of pain relief uh, if you're doing that. So really make sure that you take your pain relief as prescribed at the right time at the right dose, and speak to your doctor if you need some um, more pain relief for more intense pelvic pain, and you might be able to get some prescribed medication for that. Now, the second thing that I did mention was muscle relaxants. Now, muscle relaxants, such as your benzodiazepines, can help pelvic floor muscle relaxation, and in doing so, help to relieve pelvic pain that's associated with those tight pelvic floor muscles. So again, this is doctor prescribed and monitored, so this is something you can also speak with your doctor about to help you relieve pelvic floor pain that's associated with this type of pelvic floor muscle spasm. So I think you can see there's a combination of things that you can use together uh, to really help you uh, more rapidly relieve pelvic pain and also to, at the same time, release and relax pelvic floor muscle spasm. Well, uh, stay with me now. I've got a diaphragmatic breathing exercise the routine coming up that I also too hope helps you. And as always, thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.